then semi-finals was, was Chelsea up against um, obviously Jose Mourinho, who seems to have figured you know quite a lot in my Wickham career. We played in pre-season, my testimonial, and obviously the the two semi-finals against Chelsea, which was an incredible night. We just went into that semi-final thinking we're going to enjoy ourselves. They were not lucky in that way to this semi-final. They had to play away against Fulham. They had to play away against Charlton. They beat them, um, and I think that it shows you everything. Of course, they are a team from a low division, but they are a good team, well organized. Um, Paul Lambert is a, a young uh, manager, but he's a man with a lot of experience in in high level football. Must be a motivator. We were up against, you know, Claude Makélélé, who was probably one of the best players I've ever played against. He seemed to have eyes in the back of his head. You know, Wayne Bridge, um, uh, Frank Lampard played. You know, the, the list of internationals was just endless. And what a night, you know, packed house in front of Adams Park, a 1-1 draw with Chelsea, um, another Jermaine goal, um, which is just kind of synonymous with the competition that year. A rare night of high excitement for the wide-eyed football folk of High Wycombe. Wickham are only the second, fourth tier club to make the League Cup semi-final and Jermaine Easter, who remains on track to become the first man in the history of the League Cup to score at every stage, right from the very first round. No one has yet scored against Chelsea in this year's competition, but they've really looked so vulnerable. The referee is Steve Bennett, who has a history with Wickham, having taken contentious charge of their uproarious FA Cup quarter-final at Leicester six years ago. For Paul Lambert, who's made quite an impression in his first season in English management, having come down from Scotland, and who, like his opposite number tonight, is a European Cup winner. Easter's archery, and uh, appeared to win it from SCN. Mooney was following up and has the ball in the net. Easter querying Steve Bennett's decision to penalise his challenge. He has a not unreasonable case. He certainly played the ball and rolled round Essien. Very good tackle from O'Halloran. Mooney having to throw in a leg as well. Finally broke for Jeremy. And Balak was shaken off it. Rickamar tackling like Terriers here. And now Easter's having a gallop. Ferreira in his way. It's a terrific ball. Now Betsy! And Hilario blocked at the near post. Jeremy's outswing of Balak's header. Batista away. Lashed back in by Bridge. Keeper had done well in the first instance. And required assistance second time round from Doherty on the line. a bridge for Chelsea, right side of the fullback, Wayne Bridge has scored! He's hurt himself in doing it and he's uh, clashed nastily with Batista. His first goal since the Champions League quarter-final winner at Highbury way back in uh, April of 2004 but he doesn't know an awful lot about it at the moment having converted it splendidly he first smashed into the outrushing Batista and neither emerges from that collision feeling any better than they did before. Stalwart leader out of the side, longish turn. Bloomfield's won it back. Mooney's looking to turn. Bloomfield's in! And Schindler's shot wide. Change for Chelsea. The man who never likes a day off, Frank Lampard. In place of the goal scorer, Wayne Bridge, bloodied but unbowed. Long from Martin. Nicked on by Mooney. Here's Tremaine Easter! Equaliser! Every round! But no one bigger than this! Wickham Wanderers within a quarter of an hour are going to the bridge all square! Jermaine Easter, the man of every League Cup moment for Wickham, flicked in by Mooney, steered in by Easter.
a finish it was. Six rounds, six goals. And Paul Lander is dancing like Mourinho. Martin. Doherty. Challenge from behind by uh, Lampard. With a little more than three minutes to play. It only takes a moment for dreams to be made. Stefan Oaks! Pretty close. Given a fair thump by Oaks. Shot with good shape. A matter of inches. Better than they dared believe. They are believing now. Their side has matched Chelsea. Easter. Betsy. Off goes Martin. He's gone away from Cole. And Martin is general. The flag is up. The final whistle goes. It is quite something. Jermaine Easter's phenomenal record in this competition goes on. More than that, dwell on the corporate effort of Wickham Wanderers. The boys from Bucks have matched the Blues. The chair boys have stayed with the champions. And gone behind in the first half to Wainbridge. Paul Lambert's heroic young side grabbed a hugely deserved equaliser in the second half from Jermaine Easter, who now reaches the semi-final, having scored in every round. The likelihood remains, of course, that the champions will make good and progress to their fifth League Cup final at Stamford Bridge. But for now, think only of Wickham's wonderful night. Three divisions, Chelsea's inferiors. There was nothing between them, and they will start at the bridge as equals. It finishes the first leg at an ecstatic Adams Park. Wickham Wanderers won, Chelsea won. Chelsea, not a great result and not a great performance from your team tonight. Uh, I disagree. I disagree. I think it's a great result. I think in Cups there are no teams from Premiership or teams from 2nd Division or 3rd Division or Coca-Cola League. Everybody belongs to the same competition. You play it through tonight, weren't you, in slow motion because uh, you had to have an awful lot of composure to see that ball into the back of the net. Yeah, yeah definitely. I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight. I'll probably be on my mind all night. But yeah, it was, uh, it was good to get the goal. But most importantly, it's about the result. And it's a great result for the lads. And now we can go to their place. And uh, it's, that, it's that, uh, that one game where we can hopefully go and get something. And what can you do at Stamford Bridge? Oh, for heaven's sake. We, we, um, it's going to be uh, ten times more hard than what it was in eight. But the great thing about it is the players have kept it alive and they're the ones that deserve every bit of credit that's come their way.